I'm actually really, really um, glad that Michael lets me just, you know, come onto his property all casually. I mean, Michael and I are just like best friends at this point, aren't we? Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Now bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, I'm beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, OK? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. <sighs> The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great! Let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. On. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, okay, well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right. Right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Whole Feet to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary. Just the plain I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV. This is definitely one of my favorite missions. We get to jump inside of a cargo plane. Guys, I'm about to put my headset on the charger real quick, so I might have really bad flying. The Merryweather plane is in a holding pattern to the west. Try and stay low. The control tower at 
Okay, I was only playing with one hand, that's why I was flying like that. Almost there. thinking damn it all right we're gonna retry that hopefully he gave me a checkpoint oh okay, good oh my gosh I did not see that pole Control of this. You know, Ronald. Ronald, you there? We need trouble. Ronnie, old boy, I never thought I'd say this, let alone think it, but it's good to be working together again. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have you back. We're a good team. Every team needs a leader, a leader, and a mindless follower, too. That's right, boss. Taking the road is much more easier than flying on the outskirts of everything. I just don't want to hit these poles. That's why I took the, like, the other side. Are you sure about this, T? Most certainly. 
These bricks, Meriwether, they're what? Using these guns for a coup in West Africa? Protecting some mineral-rich warlord? Confiscating the weapons is practically a public service. Karmically, I'm... We're golden! What's not to be sure about? When you put it like that... Handle your end, okay? Guys, what if I flew into the tunnel? What was I thinking, bro? Alright, we're out of military airspace. We are to gain altitude. Finally! Alrighty! Come in, light aircraft. Identify yourself and state your intent. This is Captain T in a 1989 crop duster. Just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Sticky bomb. Oh my gosh, I have to watch out for all this debris. Alright. Not sure if anything else is gonna blow up, so I don't wanna catch on fire either. Guys, what if they added cargo jets into online? That would be so cool. Get off my I took control of now, a freaking who's gonna fly this I just took I just hijacked a cargo plane. Planes don't even look like this in online. Like with all these screens. Whoa! Ten percent of what's in the hole, and we're all happy. 
jets are literally rubbing themselves against me. You guys see this? super high in the sky right now. That was a huge splash. All right. Very nice. Sorry, mission passed. So I went to through all that work for nothing. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why the heck did I do that? All of that for nothing. Trevor, shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well. So that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage. The cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Oh my gosh, my house looks so clean. Look at this, guys. Yeah. Actually. Alright, cool. Yeah, guys, my house looks super clean. Is the toilet clean? Wow, the toilet is really clean, too. Everything's scrubbed down. All the garbage is gone. Ninja Masters, what you told me. I am. This is perfect. Many years ago, the dishes are clean. Ninja the food is put away. All oh, there's no moldy food anywhere. I call this paradise. Wow. I'm about to get a nice garden out front, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, let's, uh, what is this, the Bureau? Federal Investigation, the Bureau. Yeah, that's what that is. But what's over here? 
I really wonder what's over here. I, I guess I should go do it. I'm not, no, 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 no. Right, let's go do the, the bureau mission. Am I supposed to go upstairs? Yeah, I am. Of course. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but, uh, this... This here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go. Fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off. Listen, I'm sorry. But we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one. Nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. I've never seen Michael get that mad before. So I guess that's how he used to act back in the day. With Trevor. funding problem so we need a job before the jewel store you talked about a score a, a bank in the sticks I need you to meet us there Polito Bay right that's the one I'll get on a bus all right Lester's meeting us there don't start I won't no way good call if you're taking down a bank for a few million first thing you do is call the hospital tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair 
Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why won't be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto hipster. <laughs> the bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. to the vacant lot with the garbage container in it. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. 
That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. There we go. Okay, I brought my police scanner. I drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby, and it isn't even 30 Victor as shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We gotta go. If we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running. Yeah, I'm definitely beating Michael in this thing. There's no way he's gonna beat me. I'm gonna, I'm on a bike. Wait, oh crap. Wait, Trevor's off his. What did I say? Guys, I dusted Michael. He's in a slow freaking car. He told you. Yeah. Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> I'll set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. This guy. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. 
Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me cost a shoe cost on it. I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, that's what you Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Did Michael just get offered from Trevor to eat shit? I'm not sure. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. All right. Oh, nice. That really nice bike is still there. I wonder where Trevor is right now. He said he was following them, so I wonder where he's at. No, not Trevor Franklin. That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chew Miles. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. She's the company's. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal. The contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close! And they stole it off me. Ho ho hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? With all the questions. Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. And I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and 
crap. Them hick dudes in the wood. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Guys, it, it won't even let me zoom in. What the hell? Any of them punks waiting around in the shallows? Yeah, it won't let me zoom in. I got him. That guy wasn't moving fast enough. We ain't found him yet. What the heck is this? It won't even let me zoom in. Maybe if I reconnect my controller, it will let me zoom in. Nope. I can't zoom in, so this is how I have to shoot. Scan right, I think I see someone. Move your aim to the left a bit, I think there's someone there. Guys, I know that there's somebody there hiding behind a rock. It's just, I can't even zoom in just to kill him. I think I see someone to the right there. You know what, who's gonna shoot this guy? Something's coming, what the? Shit, shit, what is that? There's nothing to shoot at, he's behind a rock. Let's do this, little homie, fire! Track him down, Frank, we're about to get shot out of the sky. Looks like I'm about to go swimming. Oh, I know exactly where he is. is Trevor Zerfield. I went to 
helping a friend in need? Come on, Chapo. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank killers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this from here back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop this off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. All right, cool. Nice. Um, I'm gonna spawn. I'm gonna play as Michael. Go do the Devon Weston mission that's over at the um that one area. Who's a good boy? Burn your computer right now. By my math, we've got. I guess I already dropped the mic off. Let's go do that Devon Weston mission. Hello, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, so where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. If he's alive, you should call him. We appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. Look, he ain't doing too good without his family. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Do I have any silenced weapons? No. I guess I don't. Fruit salad has pineapple in it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in post. Anyone know who this guy is? Is, it, is this the new stun guy? It sure didn't sign up for this guy. Get it. him out. You Shut this guy down. Hey, what the fuck? Guys, look at the reflections on the floor when I do this ability. What the hell? The lighting, which is so much more better. Whoa, what the heck? Why did I just turn that way? Over, Rebo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Oh. They're coming! Studio security! What are you doing, bruh? Trying to kill us? I just buy a car with what I make in a morning. Get out. I think you underestimate. Come on, 
Guys, over to Ballers. Please, I like some of your work, but don't get ahead of yourself. Oh my! But don't get ahead of yourself. Pull the fuck over! What's wrong with you? Ah! What's wrong with you? Did your parents you? Kyle? My dad disappeared. about stop the car my parents loved me so much they put me in a little lazy surprise campaign when i was three good for you i didn't work till i was ten you are so going to get the electric chair this is more lethal injection yeah. chamber kind of state but thank you people who are celebrities are treated Celebrities are treated worse than pedophiles in prison, and rightly so. Whatever you say. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, I'm another sacrifice to the god of celebrity. This ain't a sacrifice. It's a carjacking. Now calm the fuck down. What happened when I pressed this? Everything. The hell out of here. <laughs> The car looks better without a roof, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I thought the other side opens up. Developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! <laughs> practically. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davis. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. All right, cool. That's the end of the mission, and this is also the end of part nine. Guys, if you enjoyed it, I'll be back again soon with part ten. Um, and yeah, so see you guys soon. I had fun playing part nine.